What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you all are having a great day. Jacoby Ellsbury and Greg Bird are no longer Yankees. All right, so the Yankees had to make room on their 40-man roster with the Rule 5 draft coming up because they had to add a bunch of players coming onto the 40-man roster. Now, I'm not going to name them all because there's quite a few. They'll all be down in the description below, though. But just to name a few, uh, Debbie Garcia, Luis Gill, just to name a few. There's a bunch more. I'll put them all down in the description below, like I said. Um, now, yeah, back to Jacoby Ellsbury and Greg Bird. So, just to give you all some history on Jacoby Ellsbury, I know you know all about him. The Yankees signed Jacoby Ellsbury prior to the 2014 season. He was a speedy guy, kind of like a Brett Gardner type player that had a career year in 2011 where he competed for the MVP award, hit 32 home runs, hit about 330. He had some real good potential, former first round draft pick. The Yankees signed him heading into 2014, and he was coming off a year where he hit about 298, about eight home runs, I think, stole about 50 backs. He's always been fast. He's been a great center fielder. So the Yankees were thinking, hey, we'll add another Brett Gardner, basically. 2014, his first year with the club, he was all right, hit about 270, 16 homers, drove in like 70 runs, uh, stole I think 32 bags. He was all right, or 39 bags. He wasn't anything special, but he wasn't terrible just yet. 2015 comes, he starts off strong, gets some injuries, and that's really going to be the main headline with Jacoby Ellsbury. He got injured a lot. Um, but yeah, he had some injuries, didn't, didn't play well, you know, didn't really hit for that power that he imagined his left-handed bat could hit in Yankee Stadium. They were thinking maybe, you know, 2011 power, he had like 32 home runs, maybe we bring him into pinstripes, bring him into Yankee Stadium, that'll come back. Well, maybe hit 30 home runs, not even that, maybe 25 homers for the Yankees. He never hit more than the 16 he hit in his first year with the Yankees. Um, he played some good center field, but injuries really derailed his entire career with the Yankees, and it really was a stupid signing from the get-go. He signed a seven-year, $153 million deal. Now for him, that's that's brilliant. I mean, obviously he's going to sign that. As for the Yankees, I'm not really sure what they were thinking when they literally had the exact same player in Brett Gardner um, signing Jacoby Ellsbury. There really was no point to do that. $153 million, and here they are eating $26 million to release him, basically saying, get out. You're never going to be a Yankee again. Now, it was a real telling sign that the former team he was just with, the Boston Red Sox at the time, they didn't even offer him a contract. Now, they did. It was, really wasn't anything past, I think, like five years, $100 million. And then the Yankees went out and offered him seven year, 153 that nobody else would have given him to him. Uh, not one of Brian Cashman's greatest moments. That whole 2013 to 2014 offseason was not good. Yeah, so Jacoby Ellsbury's contract definitely did not work out really whatsoever. He was a bust. Now, as for Greg Bird, now this one hits home a little bit more. Um, it, it saddens me. I got to say, I like Greg Bird. He, uh, he was probably the first baby bomber, honestly, coming up. I think he came up in July of 2015, and he was really hyped up. You know, he was going to be a replacement for Marta Scher at first base, who I love. Uh, but yeah, Greg Bird came up in 2015, hit like 260, 11 home runs, slugged over 500. He was really good, played good defense. He started he actually the 2015 wildcard game for the Yankees. I liked Greg Bird a lot. He had a lot of potential, and they really loved, the Yankees loved themselves in Greg Bird, and rightfully so. 2016 comes, uh, he had shoulder surgery in that offseason, so he missed the entire 2016 season. Uh, and then 2017 comes, rakes in spring training, wins the first base job. I think he hit like 400, uh, led the league in home runs and RBIs, so I'm pretty sure that spring. Uh, he gets the first base job. He was about 23 years old at the time, and injuries derailed that too. Now, keep in mind, when he was on the field, he really wasn't all that good either. Um, with the exception of after he came back the first time in 2017, he was actually pretty solid for the Yankees from basically August through the playoffs. He was really good in the playoffs in 2017. I'd probably say the most consistent bat in the 2017 playoffs. Obviously, he had that big home run against Andrew Miller, which it's, it's kind of sad because it's like I'm very attached to that 2017 team, and Greg Bird now is no longer on that team. Now, keep in mind real quick, I do want to put this out there. The Yankees can still sign him to a minor league deal. It's not, say, impossible for Greg Bird to see time in pinstripes again, but as of right now, he is no longer a Yankee, basically. Um, but like I said, he could be signed to a minor league deal. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's kind of sad because... Baby Bombers, you know, that was, I'm still so attached to the Baby Bombers who really, you know, aren't necessarily Baby Bombers anymore. Um, but yeah, Greg Bird's not on the team anymore. I kind of like grew up, you know, with the mindset that Greg Bird was going to be our first baseman of the future. And now we're probably going to see him go elsewhere. And I really do hope he rakes. I hope Greg Bird has a tremendous career still. He's only 27 years old still. Left-handed first baseman. He got some power. He's a good ball player if he can stay healthy. Um, it's just really a matter of if he can stay healthy. And I'm not sure if he can. Uh, but Greg, if you're watching this, I know you're not. Wherever you go, even if it's in the Yankees, of course, I wish you the best of luck, man. But yeah, honestly, I'm not too surprised by any of these moves. Um, I didn't really expect them to release Jacoby Ellsbury, but to be honest, I think that's more so because I just wasn't thinking of it. It's been like a long time rumor that they were going to try to dump Ellsbury somewhere, release him. At this point, there was no dumping him. Nobody was going to take that contract. Jacoby Ellsbury is, I'm not sure if he'll ever get another job in the MLB. He probably doesn't even want to. So that's today's news. Like I said, all the guys that were added to the 40-man roster, I want to put that, that down in the description below any questions or comments just drop it down below and i will be sure to answer all of you guys if i can and that's really about it make sure you follow me on social media at dan allen Rourke on twitter and on instagram yankees avenue nyy video nyy home runs all that uh link will be that in the description below 
And also, a Gary Sanchez video, a discussion video on Gary Sanchez that will be coming out soon, probably either tomorrow or the next day. It's going to be very polarizing. I know you guys love to talk about Gary Sanchez. You either love him or you hate him. And yeah, so that's all. Uh, look out for that video, and I'll see you guys next time. Her body's gold like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. But we say we all fine, we all fine. Sunny day dreams, and we up now. Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down. 75 degrees in a dope sound. All you need to live fine, to live fine. A little sunshine, cause she need it. A dose of rainfall in the evening. The waves crash down, and we feel them. Say here's to the nights, we steal them. And I be running, cause I figured out. The more I slow down, the less I get out.